Hello and welcome back to Underdog Investing. So today I'd like to talk about GameStop and more specifically I want to go through what on earth happened to the stock price over the past few days and then I'd like to go through the reasons why I will avoid these kinds of investments in the future. Now before jumping into the video I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. So let's have a look at the stock price. You can see we're at $76.79 and you can see that we actually had a 200% increase just in the last day or two. And that's just mental, especially in a company that hasn't really had any fundamental changes. Now, let's have a look at some of the reasons why this happened. So GameStop share price reaches record high amid Reddit-driven short squeeze. So this title actually tells us a lot of information. So Reddit-driven short squeeze. Firstly, let's go through what a short squeeze is. Okay, so a short squeeze occurs when a stock or other asset jumps sharply higher, forcing traders who had bet that its price would fall to buy it in order to forestall even greater losses. Their scramble to buy only adds to the upward pressure on the stock's price. Okay, so basically what a short squeeze is, is so you've got people called short sellers and what they do is they basically um, borrow some stocks of a specific company sell the stocks immediately and they basically profit when the stock price goes down because then they can buy the stock price at a lower price now and then give it back to the um, people they lent it from and they basically pocket the difference and that's how short sellers make money so they profit from stocks going down in value but what happens and what the risk is for short sellers is when the stock price actually goes up in value so let's imagine another scenario where they try to short a stock and what what they do initially is borrow the stock from uh, the, a particular company, sell the stock immediately, and then the stock price, rather than going down, it actually goes up in value. So what happens now is they have to buy the stock at a higher price to return it to the um, original investors. And this actually makes them lose money. Uh, and the issue is the higher the price of the stock they have to buy it at, the more money they lose. So what happens is when the stock price goes up, they tend to cut their losses by buying the stock um, to, to give it back. And what happens is this creates an added pressure to the stock price upwards. And this is what they call a short squeeze. Okay, so that's a short squeeze. And then the second part is Reddit driven. Now, what do they mean by Reddit driven? So what they mean is, Nowadays, there's a community of investors in Reddit, which they basically stick together and they target these short sellers. So they target specific companies and stocks, which loads of people are shorting. And what they do is they basically invest loads of money into that company. And that basically screws over the short sellers because that creates an increase in the stock price. And now the short sellers have to cut their losses by buying the company, sorry, by buying the stock at a higher price and giving it back to the investors. And what that happens is it results in artificially created uh, short squeeze. Um, so that's basically what's been going on uh, with GameStop and other companies have also had similar problems. Now, now I'd like to talk about what I think about this whole situation. So personally, I not keen on either short sellers or these people on Reddit who are basically creating these short squeezes because they're both basically manipulating the market in the short term for their own greed, right? And short sellers are just doing it in a way by uh, profiting from companies going down, so they create negative news, whereas these um, Reddit uh, investors are basically um, creating artificial uh, short squeezes and manipulating the market and the way I try to avoid these situations is rather than looking at the short term um, what I do is I look at the long-term vision of companies and the way I do that is I look five years down the line or ten years down the line and then I try to imagine what the company will be in those time frames and if I feel like a company will be somewhere better than where they are now and I think that they can execute on the things that they say they will, then there's a good chance that the stock price will end up higher. 
And the good thing about that is it's much less stressful than trying to manipulate the market in the short term. And you also end up not having to worry about what happens and in the uh, in the short term. And you don't really worry about the short term fluctuations when you've got a specific long term goal in mind. So personally, that really helps me. Uh, I just wanted to um, let you know what my thoughts are on the whole situation and let, uh, give you an idea of what um, basically my advice would be. Um, so that's the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed that, I'll be grateful if you can like and subscribe to the uh, channel. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you found it useful in any way, please do share this video. Thank you.